expanded form. Casey says, you've got this. Math is all about shortcuts. I could look at these blocks and say, I have two blocks with 100 pieces, two blocks with 10, and two blocks that are just one piece each. I could shorten that and say 200 plus 20 plus 2. Or I could put all three together and write it as 222. I can do that in reverse, too. It's called expanded notation. We keep the digit in the same place, tens place, tens place, so it still stands for 30, and use zeros to fill in the spaces. 32 is exactly the same as 30 plus 2. 56 is exactly the same as 50 plus 6. We can write it vertically or horizontally. Keep the digit in the same position. Use zeros to fill in the spaces. Let's try a bigger number. Mm. On the place value chart, 6,543. In words, 6,543. We can break it up. 6,000 plus 500 plus 40 plus 3. We put zeros in the spaces. And we can write it either way. We're not changing the number. We're just talking about it in a different way. What about zero? Well, if there aren't any hundreds or tens, we don't have to talk about them. This number would be written as 6,000 plus 8. But be careful, this number would be written as 40,000 plus 5,000 plus 50. One place at a time. Try these. Write them in expanded form. Pause, answer them, and then move forward. Here's what you should have. Casey says, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. See you in the next lesson.